As a great paradox of life, the survival of multicellular organisms requires the active removal of unwanted cells, a process called programmed cell death. Programmed cell death occurs in a wide range of organisms, going from plants to tiny nematodes and even humans. Specifically in plants, programmed cell death is crucial for development. For instance, cell contents of procambium cells must be removed to form the vascular system, while suspensive cells must be removed to allow a plant embryo to develop. PCD also plays a key role in stress resistance and plant immunity, a classic example being the hypersensitive response, where the plant sacrifices cells surrounding a microbial infection site to prevent the pathogen from spreading. However, other pathogens thrive on these dead cells, so the plant must make the right decision whether to keep or kill specific cells. To study plant cell death in the lab, many model systems and programmed cell death inducing assays have been developed. These include heat or UV treatment that induce dose dependent rates of cell death. Researchers also use spontaneous lesion mutants, controlled pathogen infections and plants lacking specific antioxidant systems, such as these catalase deficient plants that undergo PCD under high light conditions. In the last two decades, the energy-converting organelles mitochondria have been at the center of attention in the animal cell death research field. But also in plants, significant evidence suggests a role for mitochondria in cell death execution. Furthermore, plants have a second type of endosymbiotic organelle, the chloroplast, and studies suggest these may be involved in cell death execution too, especially when light is present. In this review, we have provided an up-to-date synopsis on the role of chloroplasts and mitochondria in the execution of cell death in plants. Common themes are the production of reactive oxygen species, which can occur at the plasma membrane, but also by the electron transport chains of mitochondria and chloroplasts. Recent evidence suggests that especially the mitochondria and their electron transport chain are crucial for cell death execution in plants even when the initial defect is in the chloroplasts. Besides providing an update on progress in the field, we also suggest two working models on how mitochondria and chloroplasts may cooperate during cell death execution. We hope that you will enjoy reading our article and that it may be a useful resource for future research.